Hello, I hope you are having a good day. So in my previous video, I have explained the method how you can enable the Shopify social login through Google, the Google method. And now I am I will show you how you can enable the Shopify social login for Facebook. And the method is almost similar, but obviously we have to deal with Meta for this. And if you follow this tutorial uh, accordingly, obviously you will not feel any issue in the future. So you have to click on settings. And then uh, you have to click on customer accounts, the same method as before, and it will show you something like this. I will show you. So we have already enabled the Google login and now Facebook login. So it works like this. This is the button and it works really fine. So you have to go to authentication again, and then you have to select the Facebook. Currently it is enabled, but I will disable it just to just for this video so i have disabled it and now i will click on manage because i will do all the step again now meta for developers you have to click on this link and just again you have to create the account that's it like you have created for google cloud no other thing just create the account that's it and then we will also open the documentation so that we follow along the tutorial so sometimes uh developers facebook take a f uh, some more times a little more time to open uh, but you have to just be patient for it so once it is open you have to click on my apps and if you haven't created the account you will not see this window you you will have to create the account and then you have to click on my apps and now we also open the documentation so that we follow along so you have to go down and then for meta developers and click to log in you have to create the meta account developer account and then you have to basically create an app so i have already created the account so it showed me the option to show the app so as you can see i have already created a lot of apps but i will delete this one just to make sure that i have <clears throat> make everything for this video Okay, so let's remove all the hard work that I did. So uh, submit create app. So you have to uh, give the app name, app email, and click on next. Use cases authenticate and request data from user with Facebook login. Uh, select a business portfolio, and I don't want to collect a business connect a business portfolio yet. So uh, we will do all the steps now. So as you have. Uh, Click on create an app. The app name would be uh, login for Shopify. Okay, so app contact email is gmuchtabaydamanadrev.gmail.com. So click on next and use cases. You have to enable the authentication. Yeah, so we will authenticate and request data for from users with Facebook login. Click on next as uh, listed here, and then uh, you have to select a business portfolio. You don't want to connect a business portfolio yet so click on next okay and then publishing requirements you don't have to worry for it and then you have to go to dashboard so because your app has been created so that's how easy it is so after creating an app in your meta for developers dashboard click use cases you have to click on use cases now it will take a few seconds to create the app uh, don't worry about it as we are in the page and you have to click on use cases then authenticate and request data with users with facebook login click on customize click on use cases because we are in the app login for facebook shopify we have created just now and we have uh, click on use cases so, so loading use cases and then after the use cases you have to select authenticate and request data from users so it is in front of us so we have to click on customize and after we click on customize so to ensure that customer information is kept on sign in in the permission and features next, next section next to email click add so this screen is open in front of us so we have the email and permissions and features we have to click on add and then uh, we will follow the documentation along so yeah so that's it you just have to click on add so after that uh, uh click settings and then go to client authentication setting you have to go to settings and uh, client authentication setting let's find out 
client authentication setting yeah client authentication setting and uh, from there on the sign in with facebook page in shopify admin click copy the redirect url from the redirect url section okay okay so we have to enter the urls valid or redirect url so as as you know we have already opened uh the screen we have to copy this one and this one so we have to copy two urls and valid o auth o auth redirect urls we have to copy both the urls so yeah so it is not copied properly uh copy and then paste yes one url has been added and the second url let's add this one as well yeah it is added so one step has been done uh redirect url the valid all three redirect fields and if you have more than one url you can add and then deauthorize url okay we have to copy this one as well deauthorize callback url okay so deauthorize callback urls we have two urls for now uh call deauthorized yeah i think one url is uh, enough because it doesn't uh, have uh, shown the option so we just have to add one uh, for now so the top one so we have done configure the credentials in your shopify admin click the home icon to return to meta for developers and then click on app settings and basic so you have to click on home button so if you just get confused in any step you can just rewind the video because i have followed exactly according to documentation you just have to now click on app settings and basic uh, app settings and then uh, you have to click on basic settings so basic settings then after the basic settings so just ignore this error because this is, it is unable for submission you don't have to worry about it you have to co just copy this app id and just paste it here this is a test id so i am not worried about uh, the the security issues because it's just for testing i will delete it later on but you have to hide your app id and app secret from the other so you just have to click on so that's it we have followed the documentation and then you just have to just test the feature whether it is working fine or not so it is saved you have to turn it on it is very important because without turning it on it would not work so let's uh work again so we have done all the steps now it's time for the testing i have opened the store again and let's see if the facebook sign in is showing again or not so i have click on sign in and let's see yes the facebook and so you don't have to worry about the design the face shopify does the design itself you just have to test the features i'll click on facebook and see if it is working fine or not so this is very important to test submit for login review or some of the permissions we are not approved for use by facebook so it doesn't matter all the customers know that uh, they are giving the permission to facebook so continue as amman so uh, let's see if it is working fine or not so there is some issue let let's figure it out and let me show you why it is working uh, showing the error so finally after a lot of testing and digging into things i have finally uh, resolved the issue and i will show you if you encounter this issue what you should do like i have already uh, before making this video i do data testing and i made this uh, credentials and then save it and then turned it on but i found out that uh, if you have if you are trying to do some changes or if you are like adding new app id or new uh, app secret make sure that first you turn on turn off and then make sure to remove it and then add new one if you remove it and add new uh, thing you will add a new app id and a new app secret it will work perfectly so i have figured it out 
I'm not hundred percent sure if this uh, hack will work for most of the stuff. But if you uh, encounter any other issue, and if it is not resolved, please let me know in the comment. But in my case, it was completely resolved. It is completely resolved. There is no issue at all. I have again turned it on. I have basically you have to remove it and enable again because you are actually adding the new app ID. So it's better to remove. In the case of Google as well, please make sure that if you are creating a new app. And uh, adding a new ID, just uh, first remove the Google uh, authentication from here, and uh, remove it, and then add again. So it is working perfectly for me currently. It is logging through Facebook. So this is my Facebook email as well. So currently, as you can see, uh, it has logged into my Facebook account as well. I will show you again uh, if, if it, it is working fine or not. Trust me, I have worked a lot on this issue. And I was so confused why it is happening, but it ha if the hack was really simple. You just have to remove the authentication and then log in, uh, and then do all the step again because you are creating a new app. I'm creating. I have created a new app. I've removed the old app from Facebook and created a new app. So that's why I'm doing this step. If you are doing it for the first time and if you are using reusing the existing app, you don't you don't have to do to do this step. So that's uh, how this uh, documentation is 100% fine. There is no issue. You just have to follow it and let me show you if it is working fine or not. You have to click on sign in and then uh, click on Facebook. And it will show you a window. So continue as Ahmed. And once I continue, it will just log in. It will take some time, more time than Google. But it is login, so it is working 100% fine. So our documentation is right, and we have successfully connected uh, connected the social Shopify social login for Facebook. So this is my second video on this topic. First was for Google and Facebook, and please, as a store owner, please enable these options. And if you encounter an issue, you can let me know in the comments. But I have in this video I encountered an issue and I have found that solution within a few minutes so you can also find out the solution and if you don't find a solution please let me know I'm very responsive to comments as you have already seen thank you very much